Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. So as always, let's start by having a look at the characters from this awesome Imperial Fists army that has been completed by Keith, one of the artists here at Siege. Uh, six characters to start off with, which is really lovely and gives our client a great selection of HQ and leadership models for his army. Um, starting from left to right, let's go with the Apothecary first of all. An awesome model, um, great pose. Obviously, feel, feel a little bit sorry for his fallen brother on there on the floor, but uh, he's uh, luckily looking after the uh, the precious glands from him as well, as you'll see there. But Keith's done a stellar job of picking out all the little details on this guy as well plus i really like the fact that the armor has a spattering of, uh, of dirt at the bottom as well just to show that integration with the base as well which is really lovely all the little details fully painted throughout the model lenses gems purity seals uh, little blip markers on the screens and things everything is done to a very very high standard which is lovely um he obviously got a little sheen on the on the lens as well on the fallen brother as well which i really do like on his uh, on his helmet lens as well uh, but moving around you can see the pristine porcelain armor here with that scattering of uh, of dirt and stuff on the around the bottom edges which is cool uh, little screens and everything fully painted bit of freehand text on the uh, scroll on the pad as well um the armor's got a very subtle white edge highlight on it as well it, it doesn't scream super bright which is really nicely and you can see it but it is a really really cool lovely white uh, a subtle highlight on there as well uh, i like the contrasting red robes as well i think it just adds a lovely amount of uh, warmth to the model which is uh, is obviously very much needed on that cool white um obviously got the transfers added to these models as well you'll see those across the force uh, but again all the skin tone eyes and everything all fully painted through various stages of highlighting the vials and everything with point of light source catch light and blending done in them um but a lovely lovely super clean finish on this apothecary so that's just him we'll pull forward the uh, lieutenant as well to show you obviously the first of the uh, yellow sort of character marines which is really cool uh transfers and everything you just see the little screens and dials and buttons all done there all super super finely edge highlighted multiple stages of highlighting on all the detail works armor's obviously got various stages of highlighting as well um beauty seals all with text on there as you'll see the free-handed lieutenant marking on the helmet and obviously transfers added to him as well i do really like the texture that's been done on the pouch of the of the pistol as well which is really cool and you'll see that across all the leather work across the um force lovely little uh, tattoo on the side of his head as well and all the eyes and teeth and everything all fully painted there as you'll see so that's just the lieutenant next up we have the imperial fist character tor garadon really really cool miniature very stoic very much imposing uh, fits imperial fists extremely well uh, and keeps done a great job of portraying him here and he's really really broke armor as well you can see all the text and everything done there on the purity seals all the multiple areas of highlighting through the armor panels all the little details the leather work with some scratches and nicks on it you've got obviously his gauntlets kind of screen thing here with all that sort of uh, detail work done on it blips and markers um all the eyes and teeth and everything fully painted uh, and if we, I like the fact that, that the lenses are done that in a complementary blue as well, so they do really stand out compared to the armor. Uh, move around the back, you can see the, all the gump and gizmos that he's got linked up to his grab weapon, and also the uh, the power fist that he's got there, or the massive fist that he's got with this massive, huge sort of cabling that's there as well. Lovely sort of texture work done on the cloth as well, just to show that it's a different material to his armor as well, which is really nice. I do like the inside contrast in black; it really makes that inner cloak stand out, which is lovely. Uh, and this is this awesome, awesome some imperial fist bespoke character uh, love the fact that he's got his leg raised he just looks super super nails and uh, you wouldn't want to mess with him so that's uh, Tora Garadon really really cool miniature uh, next up we have the uh, very imposing uh, chaplain from the force um, I like that the, the cloak is a very dark dark deep brown as well you, you, on camera it looks almost black but in real life it's a very very dark deep brown uh, with that subtle texture effect applied all over it so it shows that it's leather work all the scrolls and everything fully done there as you'll see love the fact that the uh, eye lenses are done in a nice green to really make them stand out against the bone and the, and the dark sort of robe work that's been done a little bit of freehand there on the scroll on this pad uh, love the red casing as well just really really makes the weapon stand out compared to the rest of the miniature which is great uh, book as you'll see there with a lovely hide done in it a nice scratch work all done on there as well You've got the uh, transfer added to the pad and obviously the yellow Imperial Fist iconography on that inner pad as well. So that's that awesome, awesome uh, Primaris chaplain to, to lead their brothers as well. But then next up, we're going to look at the Ancient, probably one of my favourite miniatures from the Force. Keeps done a stellar job on or the banner with the Imperial Fist writing uh, on the scroll. It's all free-handed and also all the text on the individual little segments on the banner as well. Uh, we'll just rotate the miniature a little bit so you can see, but every little detail all painted, all the armour panels, 
holes and the areas of detail work covered the leather work again as you'll see there and i love this subtle subtle texture that's been applied to the back of the banner um to really denote that as material as well which is really lovely so that's just uh, the ancient and incidentally there are some some imperial fish transfers that have been added to the banner as well um i like the white helmet just to denote him as an ancient as well which is really really cool so that's just the ancient from the force uh, and then finally we'll have a look at the primaris captain uh, to lead one of the companies of his uh, force start with the back you can see the lovely subtle uh, texture work that's been done on the back or the back side of the uh, cape you've got this lovely white inner cape lining which has got some subtle texture work done there obviously the lighting is very bright here but you can just see if i move it a little bit of texture just on that cloak um the same way it's been done on other areas of material throughout the force uh all the purity still with text on it as you'll see love the complementary red uh, like the apothecary but the red sort of outer lining of the front tabard as well which is really cool uh, all the little screens and everything fully done there as you'll see got obviously the power node on the power sword with that glimmering lightning arcing up up the sword as well same on the back and then i really do like these extra little transfers that are added onto the reverse of the wrist gauntlet just so to show that obviously the seven there as you'll see and then you've got the uh, imperial fist transfer on the pad as well uh, but again skin and all the highlighting done on the face all the eyes and everything you've got another little uh, tattoo there on the side of his head as well little details like that really really do help bring the model to life uh, and again every little lens all painted on these guys as well so that's just the other captain there's all the characters from the force guys uh, we're going to come back in a second and have a look at all the infantry we've got loads of intercessors and some lovely aggressors to follow up and be led by these awesome chaps that you've just seen So next up we have all of the infantry from this Imperial Fist force and uh, there's a great selection to have a look at. There's 30 intercessors in three 10-man squads uh, with three different sergeants which are really really cool. Uh, we also then have six aggressors in two three-man units uh, so a really nice selection of infantry to bolster this force up and give it some real firepower. Uh, let's dive in and have a look at them. We'll start by having a look at the individual intercessor squads. I'll pull forward some of the sergeants first because I do really like what, um, what Keith has done with the units as well. So again you can see that really pristine finish across all of these miniatures all the transfers and everything fully added i love the wood stocks on the bolt guns as well i think that's a really really cool way of doing it blue lenses again as you'll see across the force just to really make those stand out and complement uh, and what you'll notice on the back of the uh, back of the, the backpack there's a little transfer in the center of that round nodule on the back of the backpack uh, and each squad has got a different transfer in that location so that visually from a gaming perspective you can tell which miniatures go with which squads uh, now all of the miniatures are consistent so you could theoretically mix up these all these marines into different squads if you wanted to but just a little bit of uh, a bit of narrative they, they've all got their own squad marking which is that marking there as you'll see uh, and Keith's done a great job of picking out all those little details across the facial features the eyes the teeth the scars on this chap specifically uh, but everything has got a very very nice selection of highlighting done across it We'll pull forward a couple more of the uh, Primaris Intercessors just from that squad so you can see those again, the lens is all done there. And again, if you look at the backpack, it's got the same squad marking on that uh, mark area of the pack. So that again, you can you know tell them in which squad this uh, this squad is. Uh, that one's obviously got a fist there. There's other ones that have got different symbols and I'll show you those as we go through. So that's just another one, the Intercessors. All the lenses done there, we're pointing a light source and a catch light and a light of colors added to add that sheen to the lenses as well, which is really lovely. Uh, you've got that tactical symbol just free handed onto all the pads as well well uh, pull forward another one from the same squad so you can see the consistency from miniature to miniature again there's that transfer on the backpack um, all the transfers added to these as well but really really super clean lovely finish and again you can see that this uh, subtlety of dirt and debris just added to the bottoms of the shins of these uh, of these miniatures and feet just to really add narrative between the model and the base which i really do like uh, we'll jump across to the other side so you can see this other squad as well and have a look at this uh, sergeant he's kind of like charging forward there as you'll see but all the eyes and teeth and everything all fully painted again moving around the back you can see he's got like a castle kind of uh, shape done to his uh, backpack there to denote this squad uh, but you can see the wood stock on the bolter again there the little blue lens on the on the targeter on the site as well which is done which is really lovely uh, but he's just uh, defiantly moving forward there advancing uh, someone probably probably going to hit someone with that fist uh, and give him a very bad day so that's just this sergeant 
I'll then pull forward a couple of the intercessors from this squad so you can have a look at the consistency from these guys. Uh, again, just get that to focus for you. You can see, obviously, the, the free-handed tactical symbol. You've got the, the, the squad marking on the backpack, as you'll see there again, and then all the lenses and everything all fully painted on him. Uh, we'll jump to the uh, uh, the back squad. So we'll pull forward the sergeant from this unit first of all, because I do really like the, uh, the differences of the sergeants. He's telling people to shoot guys over there or advance over there. Again, you can see all the eyes and teeth and everything all fully picked out and painted on him. Uh, little service studs as well all done uh, this squad obviously has got its own unique marking which is like a shield with a fist in it as well there as you see on the backpack uh, same on the uh, fist as well he's obviously incorporated that as well as you'll see but again a really really cool sergeant miniature the scarred eye on him as well which I really do like again all the lenses done on the bolter uh, the wood stock done on the bolter as well which is really lovely so that's just the sergeant from that rear tactical squad or intercessor squad we'll pull forward a few of these guys so you can have a look at these guys as as well again a really really lovely finish on all of these uh, and you'll see we're just reading around the back you've got that squad marking on the central bit of the pack as well uh, but again the same consistency and attention to detail across the force and across all the miniatures um, again you could easily mix up all of these tactical squads if you wish for quick gaming but if you wanted to keep them in squads they, you know, they match completely perfectly as well, which is really, really lovely. Uh, we're next going to have a look at the aggressors. So I'll pull forward the sergeant first of all from the, one of the aggressor squads. Really, really menacing uh, miniature, just um, sort of advancing there. Uh, but again, Keith's done a great job of picking out, obviously, the red helmet for the sergeant, plus all the missiles on the backpack, uh, all the cables and everything done in that red, as you'll see across any cable work done on the force as well, which I really, really do like. Uh, all the little lenses on the guns all painted, the little lens uh, sort of gem in the middle of that uh, sort of Terminator's cross thing on his chest as well is all done. Uh, gold work has got various stages of highlighting done on it as well, which is really lovely. Again, you've got the Imperial Fist transfers all added to this miniature and then we'll pull forward and have a look at some of the individual uh, infantry models in those squads the non-sergeants um, really vibrant super super classic vibrant yellow which i really do love um, and you see all the little lenses and details the rope work and everything all highlighted through various stages but a lovely lovely miniature uh, again with a subtle subtle amount of weather into the feet just to integrate them to the bases which i do like we'll pull forward the other sergeant just so you can see the consistency of that miniature as well uh, but again really super clean i do really like the uh, the vibrant yellow that keith's got on this army um i think it really fits uh, the artwork of what you see of imperial fists uh, but overall a lovely super clean finish uh, and that's just the other sergeant next up we're going to have a look at some of the ancients and dreadnoughts and uh, uh, suits that for this force so they're coming up shortly and we're going to finish off with all of the armor So following up from all those infantry, we have some walking behemoths. We've got these awesome, awesome dreadnoughts and uh, Invicta war suits. Uh, right from the get-go, you've got, obviously got the Leviathan in the middle. Probably one of my favourite Forge World dreadnoughts, if I'm honest with you. Uh, and then also the brand new Invicta war suit kits. I say brand new, they've been out quite some time, but um, it's been a pleasure to work on some of these new kits uh, for our client. So let's start from left to right and start with the first Invicta war suit. Again, a really, really cool uh, miniature, loads of detail as you'd expect with any of these new Primaris models. And you'll see a little bit of a conversion that's been done here. He's been given a knife in his power fist. Um, again, that's just a, a weapon from a custodian kit, but a really, really cool little addition there just to uh, just to make him look like he's got a knife, which is cool. Uh, obviously, he's got this holstered uh, heavy bolter here, as you'll see. And um, you've got the, the Imperial Fist transfers that have been added to these miniatures as per our client request. Uh, but same attention to detail for, across the force. All the lenses done in that lovely blue. You'll see all the, the marine pilot in this suit is obviously all painted there as well with every little bit of detail highlighted on his armor all the skin tone bionics bionic eye everything all done the lights the lenses all painted some transfers added to the front of the armor panel sections as well Obviously, you've got the uh, weapons all highlighted, all the casings, and now the shields work, and done in those complementary black as well to the metal work to make those areas stand out. I love that the metal work on this guy is a bit bitty and grainy, some scratches and streaks and bits added to it to really break it up and add interest to it. You've got the Mechanica symbol there painted in that half scheme, really, really super clean. Uh, but overall, a lovely, lovely miniature, uh, and a lot of attention to detail has been invested in this guy as well, as you can see. So that's just the first of the two Invicta War suits. We will have a look at the other one, but um, we'll jump onto one of my 
my favorite models, which is this awesome Leviathan Dreadnought. Um, absolutely brilliant. We've got the Siege Claw and we've also got this uh, Melter Lance. And you can see all the attention to detail added. Now, if you just look in between those barrels and if I get the light to shine a bit better, you'll see the little targeting lens in the middle of that. Melter Lance has also been painted uh, just to show that we can actually see what he's shooting, which is really cool. Uh, just little bits of attention to detail like that really adds so much to the model. Uh, again, you can see all the transfers added to the sarcophagus, the legs, and also on the side of the feet in some areas. Again, we've got that lovely spattering of dirt at the bottom of the feet just to integrate the model uh, to the base, which I think is a really nice little touch. Uh, moving around, love the red cabling on this guy as well to just denote those power cables. And you can see the super, super, super sharp clean finish that's been applied across this model and across the force and hopefully all the miniatures that you see obviously in the showcase. Uh, really, really do like the, uh, the traditional sort of uh, red and yellow uh, head on this guy as well. Uh, I just think it really, really makes the model and centers the eye on that um, on that head. But you can see the eye there as well in that complementary blue lens on him as well, which is really cool. Uh, so that's just this awesome Leviathan Dreadnought with a great loadout as well. And then go back to the final Invicta out of the two. Uh, same as the previous model in the sense of the consistency and quality of the miniature, except this guy's arm actually holding his heavy bolter hasn't got some, a little knife, uh, again, just with a flame weapon there, as you'll see, as opposed to the uh, the auto cannon version. Uh, moving around, just so you can see the consistency across the miniature compared to the other one, the same super sharp highlighting throughout and all the areas of detail work. Again, you've got this lovely subtle chipping and dirt effects on the bottom of the feet just to integrate the model to the base. Uh, and I do really like how the missiles in on the top of the of the uh, dreadnought have also got obviously that white warhead just to make those stand out in the launcher which i think is quite cool uh, he's obviously not got a bare head but again his lenses and everything are all done on the pilot as you'll see there as well so this just is awesome awesome invicta war suit and that's the three walkers or dreadnoughts or war suits from this force guys uh in the final section we're going to have a look at all the heavy hitting stuff of this force we've got some awesome miniatures coming up so do not miss those So last up, as part of this awesome Imperial Fist army, we have all the armor and there's five awesome tanks to crush the enemies of the Emperor. Uh, three Predators, uh, a Sikaran Punisher and also a Whirlwind Scorpius. A uh, really, really awesome selection of models. Two Forge World models and then three regular GW Plastic models. Um, the three Predators are exactly the same. There's uh, no real distinction between them other than being uh, a little bit different in the sense of coloration in some areas. Um, but really, really cool set of models. Let's pull forward the Predator to start off with uh, and again he's done a great job of picking out all the little details across uh, these mini miniatures I do really really love the occasional bits of soot and the spattering of dirt across the bottom areas of the armor as well they're super clean but they've got a little bit of weathering which is really really nice uh, all the uh, lenses as you can see on the cupola are all painted to a lovely lovely blue You've got the screens in the mid in the front all painted in a blue as well uh, all the little lights and details all painted and highlighted uh, which is really really lovely and again you've got all the cabling done in a red that you'll see across the force I do really love this front red quarter as well just to denote this tank which i think is really lovely and that line obviously just free handed on there as you'll see uh the transfers all added to it as well all three predators uh having these markings as well which is really really cool uh so that's just the three predators from the force i can pull forward the other ones you know but uh, they are very much the same so that's just the first of the three we'll then have a look at the awesome sakar and punisher with the ridiculous uh weapon that it's got a uh, really cool multi-barreled uh, essentially a huge huge assault cannon uh but again a really really cool model uh, i do like the heavy bolter weapon options on this tank as well you can see it's got various transfers added to it all the lenses and everything done in that complementary blue as you'll see across the force uh, you can see obviously the transfers with dawn written on there you wouldn't have a big imperial fist tank without dawn written somewhere um you can see all the edge highlighting done on here and every single bit of armor paneling as well on all the reds. Uh, love these little red sections just to show that little red colorway on the model as well. The little lenses in the side sponsons are also done as well in that complementary blue. Uh, a little bit of soot and dirt obviously on the barrel of the weapon as well. And again, you've got that same consistent muddying effect on the lower quarter as well, which I think is really lovely. So that's just this awesome Sakaran Punisher. Um, then let's have a look at the awesome, awesome uh, whirlwind scorpius such a cool model from forge world do absolutely love this tank very much so uh this awesome turret that is separate so it does obviously come off the come off of the the miniature all the lenses done again in that blue as you'll see across the force for consistency even the little ones here at the front on the on the little uh 
uh, round parts here, I forgot what they're called. You can say they're couplers, I suppose. Uh, but again, you've got the front windscreen there in that blue, the red front quarter, as you'll see here with transfers added again. Uh, I like the use of the copper work on the uh, cylinders here on the launcher, which I think is quite nice. And again, that lovely subtle amount of soot on the inside where the rounds come out as well, which is quite cool. Uh, again, little transfers added in various areas just to add a bit of narrative to the miniature, but loads of little subtle things. Huge Imperial Fist icon transfer on the back of the miniature as well, which is really cool. Uh, and again, you've got the, I love the way that the soot and dirt has blown onto the armor from the smokestacks as well, which is really cool. Uh, so that's this awesome, awesome whirlwind Scorpius. Uh, great way to finish off the project. So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.